Water is essential for gardening. No matter where you are in the country, you need to have adequate water for your trees, shrubs, perennials, annual flowers, and veggies to grow their best. Even in the arid places like the Southwest, trees and shrubs that are just put in the ground need water to survive. So the first thing you want to do whenever you're thinking of planting a tree, shrub, or perennial flower is to get one adapted to your area. Look for native plants or plants that are adapted to your weather conditions, whether it be dry or wet. That being said, there's some things you need to do, especially with new trees and shrubs, so you make sure they'll survive that critical first year. When you have a tree like this, a big pine tree, you know, they've actually destroyed 90% of the roots when they dug this from the nursery. So there's not a lot of root system to support all these needles. That's why it needs to stay adequately moist all season long, especially that first year. Now you can do that with simply by having a moat around your tree and then just watering by hand watering. That will work pretty well, but always the question people have is, well, how long should I water the tree? Well, a tree like this would need about 25 gallons of water a week. That's a lot of water, and you wanna make sure it soaks down eight to 10 inches deep into the soil. How long you water will be dependent upon if it's clay soil or sandy soil. Of course, sandy soil will drain faster, clay soil will hold more water. One simple thing you could do though, if you just want to average it all out, and if you have like a loamy soil, is just count to 30. So you take your wand and you just start doing this. One, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 30. That usually will put down enough moisture so it sinks down eight to 10 inches deep. Another thing you could do is actually take a screwdriver. Take a long handle screwdriver like this with a long uh, stem to it and make sure it's about eight to 10 inches long and stick it into the soil. When you stick it into the soil, if it slides down all the way without much resistance, that means that soil is pretty wet. So it's nice and slick so you can insert that screwdriver. If you push it down and you hit some resistance, it's probably that that moisture hasn't gone down that far so you need to water a little bit more. Now a real easy way to water new trees, shrubs, and plants is to use a soaker hose. These are great because you can put them on a timer, they slowly ooze water out through that hose and it'll keep that soil evenly moist. You can just time how long you need to keep it on to soak it down to 8 to 10 inches and then that way you'll know in the future how long to run that soaker hose. Now there are some products on the market that are really nice for these new trees and shrubs. One of them is called a gator bag. Now gator bags are these plastic bags that have two sleeves and you fill them up with water and they slowly ooze out the moisture from that water over time. You can add 15 to 20 gallons a week just by filling up one of these gator bags. You can get them in a donut shape or you can get them in a tall pyramid shape too. What's nice about them is that you just fill them up and forget about them. They'll slowly ooze out then maybe once or twice a week you reapply more water to them. For newly planted seedlings like vegetables and flowers, those need to be watered regularly because they have very shallow root systems. So go out almost every day and keep them nice and moist. Once they're established, then you can do that more deep watering that I talked about. It's better to water deeply and infrequently than frequently and very shallowly because you want those roots to go down deep in the soil where the moisture is. So when you're watering seedlings, keep it shallow, but once they get established, make it much deeper. So by watering properly, you'll be able to get your trees, shrubs, perennials, annuals, and veggies growing well and surviving because these babies are a big investment and you want to make sure you've got your investment well protected. If you want more gardening information, go to gardeningwithcharlie.com.